Hello everybody and welcome to another episode of A Story of Seasons. Nah, -uh. Story of Seasons, A Wonderful Life. Um, and we are on Spring Day 3. So I'm going to check our calendar and today is Merchant Day. That's Vans. Um, Vans sticker. So we will be able to meet him. So we put the money in. Hmm. I sold the milk yesterday, but how that's showing up this morning. Catch up later, I suppose. I'm unsure about that. It's cloudy today, so I have to keep an eye on the weather, don't I, I believe. Because if it starts raining, um, then I have to put the cows back in the barn, the animals back in the barn. Um, I believe there's a weather channel, actually. There's the six hour four. Here's the six hour cold forecast. We've got a cold front approaching the region. Expect some snowfall in spring. Okay. Hello, it's time for the daily di dairy. Today we're going to talk about managing your cow's stress levels. We've got Quinn and Avery here ready with questions. Avery. Mm. Huh? What's up, Avery? I'm kind of annoyed for no reason. I wonder why. Uh-oh. Maybe you're in need of some stress relief. <laughs> hey, do cows get stressed too? They sure do. That's exactly what we planned on talking about today. When cows get stressed, they're too upset to produce high quality milk. Ah, I knew it. But what makes them stressed out like this? Like that? Great question. They spend too much time in the barn or if they're out grazing on a rainy day, they'll start getting a little miffed at their owners. <laughs> That's how our cow stress builds up. Hey, whoa, so they get stressed just like us. So what should we do when they get like that? <laughs> we can't leave them that way, obviously. First you'll want to make sure you put your cows out to pasture on nice sunny days. Cows love to be brushed and washed too, so that's sure to relieve some stress. So you're saying we should just do stuff like that people enjoy? And cows will enjoy it too. <laughs> you know, what helps me when I'm stressed? Snack time. Mm -hmm. Everybody loves snack time. <laughs> I'm sure you do love your snacks, Avery. That's it for today. Thanks for tuning in to the Daily Dairy. Your look today is good. Good day, everyone. It's time once again for Music in Harmony. My guest today is Shishaka Khan an up-and-coming tabla drummer player. Our associate, Holly, will be interrupting, interpreting for us. Mr. Khan, could you tell us how long you've been playing the tabla? I was about 45 when I started. Wow, so you've only been playing three years. To have improved in skill so quickly are uh, impressive. Well, it's quite simple to learn, really. How often do you practice daily, Mr. Khan? Well, let's see. I try to get in around 30 minutes of practice a day. My, to think you only need that much time. Now, Mr. Khan will give us a performance on the tablet. 
sit back, relax and enjoy. <laughs> I'm not even gonna... <laughs> A wonderful performance! Thank you everyone! That's all for now. <laughs> Right, let's get all these waters. I like that it goes to the next one. Every time. And I hope we can upgrade the watering can. That would be good. So, Khan's opens at 12 o'clock. So we may as well go digging first and see if we can find any goodies at the dig site to sell. Because we also get a fishing rod and the brush for the cow. And, and that's as far as I got before my computer crashed. <laughs> so that's, that's all I know about the game. I'm ahead by a day, essentially. <laughs> Right. So we want to go this way. So we'll get our recipe first. See what. Oh! Enjoy the valley. Navigate the valley. Weather. The weather's fickle. And it rains more often in some seasons. So keep an eye on the forecast, which we just did. You need something you can't order from the city, you should buy from the locals and support their businesses. For anything crop related, Vesta's probably got it. You need a quick bike? Try the cafe. We don't have anything too exciting aside from that, though Van the Peddler might. Vesta's farm, Bluebird cafe, Van shop, selling items. If you've got items you can't ship out, you should sell them to Van or open your own shop stall. You can open a stall in the plaza between the cafe and the inn long as van ain't set up for the day. If you plan to set up shop, timing is key. You'll want, want to sell during the day when people are out and about. Once you put out all the items you want to sell, you can open your stall. Don't sell anything too important. Okay. Bulletin board, which we found. Dig site, which we found. Fishing, which we will be able to try after we get a rod from van. On the valet, 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 on the valet. Ever, ever want to go to other towns? You can cross the mountain pass, but only during the daytime. A round trip will take you about six hours. There's plenty to enjoy, so go visit when you've got some time. Okay. So as we have a van today, I can probably go first thing tomorrow morning when all our flowers have respawned so that's about two days so hopefully we'll get plenty of money from selling all these flowers to van and they're easy enough to come by for those who do like flowers as gifts Want to learn a new recipe? I found out about this one. Tom Caro salad. You don't have anything. You don't have it. So what is your name? Heart. Heart has all the recipes. So I'm presuming that caramel mac that we found found a recipe for yesterday and those the tom tomato callo are 
hybrid crops to which we are nowhere near figuring out but hey ho right can we go in the dig site without you there we can go in but we can't dig okay so when do you open? Do you open at 10? Hey, this place is great. Short and sweet. Oh, good morning, Nova. Nothing bolsters the spirit quite like good weather. Don't you agree? Quite agree. Hmm. He's wandering down that way. Is there going to be, is there a sign somewhere that will tell me? Anything in here that will tell me? Hmm, no answer. So he's going for a walk. So... Obviously not. So, picking flowers it is. we can do with flowers I know we can I said something about um, flowers will help the crops however I don't know how to plant flowers I'm wondering if, if we eventually have to get a pot of some sort or put pots out oh there's um, Mrs Innkeeper I don't know her name but I haven't said hello yet things with you getting used to work yet if you ask me it's best to go to go your own speed no need to rush things right do you like flowers what you got there looks fantastic would you be willing to part with that I wonder you don't even have to ask you sure much obliged okay so Vans is nearly, what's this? Oh, this is the, the Nutty Professor's house. Must be sleeping. Still. He's a night owl then. Oops. Yes, come peruse my wares at your leisure. I'm certain I have all that you need. Yes, you do. Let's talk to you then. Talk, talk, talk. Good day. I am but a humble travelling salesman who wanders the world. I offer others the chance to own a number of rare and unique items. My wares will be available for purchase on the 3rd and 8th of every month, so please do drop by. Welcome to my humble place of business. How may I be of service? I want to sell. Right then, so we can't do anything with those yet anyway, so we'll sell you, so it's 35 a pop, these are 25 a pop, oh I can just go, just, just go down, that's 25 a pop, so what about, <gasps> wow, no, thousand gold. <laughs> For a fork. A fork, I tell you. 60 for those, 100 for those, 50 for those. Oh, we're well in the money now. 4,415 gold. We can get two chickens for that. Is there anything else you require? Right, let's see what he bought, what we can get. Has something piqued your fancy? Fishing rod. Have an impeccable eye for quality. Yes. Anything else? Oh no, I don't want to sell. Sorry. Dubai. And 
That's the brush. Two chickens and money to spare. I wonder if we can buy three chickens. So an energy drink, power drink, hyper drink and a country outfit. So that's the other outfit. Which I'm sure we can buy at a later date. Whoops. Never mind. Right then. Um so was so he's he's down here. Can we not can we not go in the dig site? Today? Spring three. Yeah, other lady out and about. I'm gonna see if the other lady's in there and I can dig. If there's Vesta out and about. I wonder if it works like uh, like a weekend or something. So whenever Van's here, um, you can't do that and because Vesta's up here and Celia was out and about so that would mean we can't shop anywhere else or do anything else while Vesta um, well Vesta, while well, Van is out and about hmm okay so so we're going to try fishing then Oh, hello. Right. We want to use the fishing rod. So how do we fish? E. Fish, fish, fish. Do I just press it once? Yes. Ah, a wasagi. This is definitely easier fishing. This is this is animal crossing fishing. This is two clicks and you're done. <laughs> click for the bite, click for the reel. Done. A little wasagi. So van closes at five. So it's just twelve till five. I think she's fine. Um, I don't think I can cook anything with fish yet. So, if we fish, then we can sell it all and see how much money we can get from that. So I'm wondering whether the market will sell better than like the shipping bin so we'll, we'll have to experiment with that a bunch of fish and so we're going to head to van for five o'clock hits and I want to sell and let's see so um so a little wasagi sells for 20 Normal sells for 30 and huge sells for 80, which is pretty good. Oh, milky soup sells for 150. 
so that's um, so milk is a hundred so milky soup and one milk is like uh, so what's that half as additional profit no I changed my mind um, actually so I'll put you in there What's the milk? Yes, yeah, so the milk is 100, the milk soup is 150, so it's 50% 50 profit. Sounds good to me. So, probably got enough for three chickens then. So. At least it didn't rain today. So let's milk, milk, milk molly. Milk, 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 milk. And let's brush her. Oh, it's like cleaning her. That's cool. Right, let's pop you back in the barn. Do we need to water these again or not? Probably not. Right, I'm going to put the milk in to be sold and then we're going to order some chickens. So there's no different types of chickens. Right, I can only order one animal at a time. That's okay. Um, order feed then. Uh, actually, let's check. See if he gave us any chicken feed. I doubt it because he di didn't give us a chicken. Um, uh, so that's the incubator. Shallow pool for birds to drink in don't own any birds. Ah, this is the feeding trough. Bin is empty. Right, okay. So we need to order some chicken feed. So, bird feed. Let's, um, let's get ten. Stick with that. And, oh, what's this? Ah, the profits, there we go. And I think uh, we'll just head to bed. What's, so what was this other one? Ah, that tamakaro salad. Okay, it's just tomatoes and carrots then. But this maybe is a hybrid carrot, is what I'm thinking. Right, let's sleep. Um, right then, how do we... Um, They just turn up in the middle of the day. I think they just turn up at random rather than at the start of the day. Hmm. I'm not sure about that. Oh, look at the tomatoes. Well, they're nearly done. We'll start flowering soon. I like that I can click on it and it'll tell me where they're at. And these are the watermelons. So we're going to go and see what other villages there are today. Right then, we've got a 
milk, Molly. I wonder if there's a specific time of the day that, um, that your orders come in. So it'd definitely be good to know, isn't it? Happy cow, happy barn, happy life. I'm sure that's how it goes. Happy cow, happy life. Right, so I believe I have to go up this path. Up this way. Let's uh, pick up these. Where are we going? It might be nice to visit one of the faraway towns across the pass for a change of pace. The trip should take about six hours. Let's go. Are all artists mysterious and brooding? Yes. Hey, Nova. Takakari left a note in the living room if you want to take a look. Yeah, yeah, let's see what it says. I brought you a new animal. Check the coop when you get the chance. Oh, this is the arrival of my chicken. Um, Bert. Bertie box of every flavour beans. Oh, I'm back here. So cute. So, so I went to town. It docked me my six hours. Tamed a bird. And uh, and then brought me back because I ordered a chicken. And then I didn't get there. That's. Uh, Seems like a rip-off, if you ask me. There's plenty for the birds. So have I got to put it down every day? I wonder? We'll see you tomorrow. <laughs> okay. Well, that just um, completely wasted an entire day. Completely wasted an entire day. But at least I know not to do it again. I suppose. <sighs> right, let's get a recipe and just do some digging. It's like... <gasps> yeah, okay. Definitely don't try and go to town when you're waiting for an animal. But again, realistic. Toma mello salad. Tomato and melon salad, I presume. Right, we've got an hour of digging, I think. Although, I'm sure the first time I went digging, he didn't kick me out. <gasps> what are you? Hello. Can I talk to you? Was it hurt somehow? Oh yeah, it's got like a little bandage on it. That's cool. Well, not cool. I feel, feel very sorry for the poor thing. <laughs> Give you a shovel.
You found a stone tablet with glyphs on it. This is what we were looking for. Yep, five o'clock and he's kicking me out. Okay. Another productive day of digging for you, I hope. Allow me to examine what you found. <gasps> My word, what's this? Something appears to be inscribed on it. Why, this could be the key to the Forgotten Valley's ancient civilization. May I take it off your hands for the time being? There appears to be nothing else of archaeological value here. Please feel free to keep the rest of your findings. This is all for today. I hope we can count on your continued assistance. Nothing bolsters the spirit quite like good weather. <laughs> right, I suppose I'm... Do a bit of fishing. Let's go fish. Fish. Let's go fish on the beach. See what kind of fish we find. Fish on the beach. thinking something's glowing ever changing Flash, sway, the waves rise, then return. He's a poet. Hmm. Good, he seems interesting, I suppose. Fish, fish. He's like the, the, the silent poet, isn't he? The one who squirrels away his poetry in a little book under his metal chainsaw. <laughs> Scribes poetry on metal plating. And the underneath, underside of cars. And Anybody ever actually did that? Scab. over to the forest. We'll be waiting for you. Oh. This spring's still fast asleep. Where the heck's the goddess? That's what this place needs. I bet you she got lost. There's a lot of stuff that needs to happen before the goddess can come here. For one thing, it's got to look like a spring fit for a goddess. We've got to make all the animals who live nearby as happy as can be. And we've got to collect a bunch of wonderful things. So let's get to it. We'll gather up all the wonders we can find. Yeah, to make this place even more wonderful. But what makes something wonderful anyway? 
Are we all ready? Time for a wonderful adventure! 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 But what are we even looking for? We're looking for adventure. Sailing for adventure on the big blue wet thing. So I'm well I'm presuming chickens only lay once a day. doesn't get grumpy with us. Yep, okay. So what's what's in here? We found the lost remnant. Oh, the stone tablet. Cool. So I'm gonna sell the milk. one milk. I'll sell the milk but I'm not going to buy a chicken because I do actually want to try and get to whatever village may be out and about. Yes, so tomatoes and melons. Right then, so we shall leave this episode here. Uh, done plenty of things, made some mistakes. Hopefully next time we will get to the outer villages. Um, but if you like the video, please do all the things. Like, subscribe, comment. And hopefully I will see you all later. Bye.